If you're battling with setback and stagnation, this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, thank you for your constant support and love towards the growth of the channel, may God continue to bless you all in Jesus' name. Today's video is based on popular requests, and it is a problem that affect a lot of people, most people are stuck in a particular position or spot in their career, family and other aspects of life for a long period of time, no matter how they try, or the effort they put in, they don't move forward or see any progress. Instead of progressing, their situation gets worse by the day. That is the spirit of setback and stagnation at work. If you have been going in circles and feel stuck in life without making any significant progress, this video is for you. Watch to see how the spirit of setback and stagnation works and how to break free from that yoke. James, you're still here. Oh yes Sarah. I thought you left too. I was working on a project. Same here. I have to get some files ready before noon tomorrow. Just so I'm not behind time, I decided to sort it out this night. Oh, I see. Well done. Thank you. Sarah, have you heard about the upcoming promotion? Yeah, I did. It's for the senior manager position, right? Exactly. I've been eyeing that role for so long now. I think I'm ready for it. You definitely have the experience and skills for it, James. But you know it's going to be competitive. I'm aware. But I've been putting in the extra hours, taking on more responsibility. I feel like I've earned it. I agree. You've been killing it lately. But don't forget about the other contenders. There are a few strong candidates in the running. Yeah, I know. But I can't let that deter me. I'm going to give it my all. That's the spirit. Just stay focused and keep showcasing your value to the company. You never know what might happen. Actually I think you are the best person for the job. Besides you are long overdue for a promotion. Thanks, Sarah. Your support means a lot. And hey, if I do get the promotion, I'll make sure to remember who believed in me from the start. I'll hold you to that, James. But either way, I know you're destined for great things. I have to go now. See you tomorrow. Thank you all for being here today. As you know, we've been carefully considering candidates for the senior manager position, and after much deliberation, we've reached a decision. It is my pleasure to announce that the new senior manager of our team is... Sarah Johnson. Thank you, everyone. I'm truly honored and humbled by this opportunity. I promise to give it my all and lead our team to even greater success. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge James Anderson. While he wasn't selected for this particular role, his dedication and hard work have not gone unnoticed. We value his contributions to the team and look forward to his continued success with us. As the meeting adjourns and colleagues begin to file out of the room, Sarah approaches James with a sympathetic smile. I didn't even see this coming. Not even in my dreams. Hey, James. I know this wasn't the outcome you were hoping for, but I believe in you. Your time will come. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate that. Congratulations, by the way. You're going to be amazing in the new role. Why didn't I get the position? I've put in the time, the effort. I've got the experience, the qualifications. What more could they have wanted? Maybe it's because I am the oldest staff member. They might have thought I wouldn't adapt well to change, that I'm too set in my ways. But that's not true. I'm always willing to learn and grow. Or maybe it's because I didn't push myself enough. Maybe I played it too safe didn't take enough risks. But I've always believed in doing quality work over taking shortcuts. Whatever the reason, I can't dwell on it. I need to use this disappointment as fuel to propel me forward. There will be other opportunities, other chances to prove myself. Hey, James. How did it go? Did you get the promotion? No, 
Um, I didn't get it. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I was really rooting for you. Yeah, me too. I thought I had it in the bag, but... They chose someone else. I know how hard you've been working for this. It must be tough to come so close and then... It's just frustrating, you know? I thought my experience and dedication would count for something. They do count for something, James. Maybe this just wasn't the right opportunity. Something better will come along. Yeah, you're right. I can't let the setback define me. I'll keep pushing forward, and eventually, I'll get where I want to be. They share a quiet moment together. Sir, you sent for me? Yes I did, please have a seat. I'm afraid there's been a development. We've decided to promote one of the junior colleagues to your position. What? Why? It was a tough decision, but they showed exceptional leadership skills and management potential. I see. However, we still value your contributions to the company. That's why we've decided to offer you a position at our branch in a remote area. A remote area? Yes, it's a different role, but we believe it presents new opportunities for growth and challenges. I appreciate the offer, Mark. When do I need to make the move? We'll need you to relic it within the next month. HR will assist you with the details. Also remember to submit the official car. For the new person. Okay, I will. James, first heard about the news. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Sarah. It's a lot to take in. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Just need to adjust to this new direction. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. I appreciate that, Sarah. Thank you. It's not the end of the road, just a detour. That's the spirit. James arrives home, weary from the day's events. His wife, Emily, is in the kitchen, preparing dinner. As he enters. Hey, James. How was your day? I need to tell you something, um. I was demoted today. Demoted? Why? What happened? They promoted someone else to my position and they're transferring me to a remote branch. Oh, James. I'm so sorry. That's awful news. Yeah, it's not easy to hear. But why would they do that? You've been dedicated to that company for years. It doesn't make sense. I wish I had answers, um. It feels like a blow, especially after all the hard work I've put in. I can't imagine how frustrating this must be for you. Just know that I'm here for you, no matter what. I've watched people come and go, seen colleagues hired after me get promoted ahead of me. It's like I'm stuck in this never-ending cycle of disappointment. And what hurts the most is wondering why. Why would God let this happen to me? After all my prayers, all my faith. It feels like I've been abandoned. James, first know it's hard to understand why things happen the way they do. But maybe there's a bigger plan at work here, something we can't see yet. I don't know, um. It's just hard to believe that there's any purpose to all of this. Maybe, maybe it's not about finding answers right now. Maybe it's about finding the strength to keep moving forward, despite the uncertainty. You're right, um. I can't let this defeat me. I'll keep pushing forward, even if I don't understand why. James, first know this is incredibly difficult, but we have to keep trusting in God's plan, even when we don't understand it. I'll try to hold on to that, um. But it's tough when it feels like I'm stuck in a cycle of disappointment and stagnation. That's where prayer comes in, James. We have to keep praying against the spirit of setback and stagnation. I believe that with prayers we can overcome this evil spirit of setback and stagnation that has been lingering. You gave your best in your services in that office. So you have done what you can do. It's time to let God be in charge. I guess you're right. I will just leave everything to God. I know that the plan he has for me are for good and not for evil. Exactly. So get ready tonight. We shall be bringing down every stronghold of setback and stagnation. It's time to move forward.
Heavenly Father I thank you for the gift of life and family. Thank you for the provisions and empowerment, may your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father I ask for your divine mercy upon my life, whatever way I have come short of your glory, please forgive me. Purge me of all sins. I want to see your light, I want to know you more, I want to love and serve you with all my heart. Help me to be steadfast in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father I come before you with my situation. I have been going in circles for over 10 years now in my workplace. Today I have come for a change. I want to make progress. Father, I come against every form of stagnation and setback in my life by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Father, I disengage myself from all appearances of stagnation and setback in all my life affairs, in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree an end to every setback goal set against me by the forces of darkness, in the name of Jesus. Father, every plan and purpose of hell right against my destiny to stagnate it shall not prevail, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every foundational error that brings setback in my family and now speaking against my progress in life, I decree an end to them by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Father, let every curse, spell and enchantments released into my life and destiny causing me stagnation and setbacks in any area of my life be averted by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I decree that every agent of the devil stagnating my career receive the wrath of God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against every chain of setback and stagnation used to bind me, I decree that they be broken right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, every spirit of almost there but never there, moving around me and causing stagnation and setback for me, by the Holy Ghost I command you to desist from following me right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, arise and scatter every gang up of hell militating stagnation and setback against your children, in the name of Jesus. According to your word in Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 27. And they will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Father, I decree an end to all forms of stagnation and setbacks set up in my life and my family by the devil and his cohorts by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for I know that all forms of stagnation and setbacks in any life and family is destroyed from now on, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Two months later, James receives an unexpected invitation to return to the head office. Nervous but hopeful, he enters the familiar surroundings, where the director awaits. James, thank you for coming. Of course, Mr. Thompson. What's this about? I'll get straight to the point, James. My family and I have decided to relocate abroad, and as a result, I'll be stepping down from my position as director. I see. That's quite unexpected. Yes, it was a difficult decision but one that we believe is best for our family. Which brings me to why I asked you here today. I need someone I can trust to fill in for me while I am gone, and after much consideration, I have decided that person is you. Me? But. Why me? Because I have seen your dedication, your leadership potential, and your ability to handle challenging situations with grace and professionalism. You've proven yourself time and time again, James and I have full confidence in your abilities. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. I'm honored and humbled by your trust in me. You've earned it, James. And I know you'll excel in this new role. Consider this your promotion to director, effective immediately. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. That was how James' life took a major turn around for good after he prayed. God gave him more than double for his trouble. In our world today, we see a lot of people being at a standstill in their life and destiny, some experiencing setbacks in all areas of life and there seems to be no way out for them. 
They keep groping and managing in such situations and there seems to be no end in sight. Don't let the spirit of stagnation nail you to a place. There is a greater place where God wants us to be. Jeremiah 29, 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God wants us to prosper, and if we are not, then it's not God's will for us and we have to pray ourselves out of it. I pray that we all find ourselves where God wants us to be in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching, please share this video out for more visibility, also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comment section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.